Well, I'm here with Trisha McGarry from Arches Health Plan, which is a, a local health insurance company. And today you're going to debunk some of the myths about uh, the changes to a to health care. That's right. Okay, so uh, what are the key changes to affordable health care? Uh, key changes are now there's no pre-existing condition limitations. So if you've had a health circumstance in the past, we actually don't even ask any health questions. Um, you have access to health, affordable health care insurance. Um, other key changes are that individuals independent of their employment status can now sign up for health care insurance on their own on the Marketplace Exchange, which is online this fall. All right, and uh, talk about affordability because there are a lot of people here in Utah that don't have health care in general. That's right. A lot of these people have pre-existing conditions or they want coverage like maternity, which can be very costly. In these new plans, every plan has maternity benefits and every plan does not, you can no longer ask pre-existing condition um, questions. So now it's community rating, which means that they take the entire community health care um, coverage uh, statistics and we all get um, basically community rating applied to our health care insurance costs. Affordability has been a huge deal. You know, yes. some of us have access to health care but can't That's afford right. to even, you know, right. opt into the plan. That's right. So now, um, if you have 50 or under employees, if you're an employer and your employees want to access health care insurance, if they're part-time workers or if they have low income, they can actually go on the Marketplace Exchange and access plans that will be very cost-effective for uh, most average um, Utah families make uh, about $49,000, $50,000 as an annual mm -hmm. income. Um, they may find plans in the two to $300 premium a month range. Which oh, that's just pretty amazing. Heard of. Right, that's yeah. pretty amazing. We hear health care reform and I think we get scared. Yes. Is there a reason to be scared? Um, there's not. It's actually a really good thing. So right now most of us, if we are paying for health care insurance, we're paying some part of our premium a subsidy for people that don't have health care insurance. Mm -hmm. So what's coming is we're going to start stabilizing cost structures in health care. Um, what's also coming is that you will start to see price transparency on um, provider um, on, on what provider services. services. So you're going to start knowing what your health care costs are or be able to shop and, and compare what different providers are providing um, services at or different systems, hospitals or clinics are providing services at. Now is that going to mean the health care itself gets worse? You know, like, like, oh, I'm getting a sell rate, so, you know, you get what you That's pay for. That's such a good question. So our models, we have a medical home model in our plans, actually allow the provider to spend more time with their patient. So the average time that a, that a primary care can, um, provider can spend with their patient is about seven minutes. That's mm. on average. Mm. We think it should be more like 15 minutes, that you actually go in and they actually ask you questions independent of just the one condition that you might be seeing them on today, mm -hmm. that they're actually assessing your entire health circumstance, that of your family, so they can spend more time with you throughout the year. And if you are staying healthier and you're, you're preventing other circumstances from creating a, a larger problem, mm -hmm. that is a lower cost. Care. Okay. Okay. That, thank you so much, Tricia, yeah. for coming in. Absolutely. And uh, people can get in touch with you where? They can go to our website at archeshealth.org. Okay, very good. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you. And stay with us. We'll be right back.